Hello beautiful people, Psychic Debbie here, hoping you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening. Today I'm going to be talking about crystals for Halloween, or even this month, going into next month. These are powerful stones, and connect to them. If, if you connect to one, great. If you connect to all six, fantastic. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to talk about is selenite. You know that I have that big, huge boulder of selenite. It's so heavy, I thought I'm not going to pick that one up. <laughs> So I'm going to show you this selenite. This is the selenite that I have under my desk when I do readings and I feel like I need to connect to the spiritual realm. My foot automatically, it's a habit, will put, will touch this selenite because it does a clearing. It helps you connect to the higher realm. Okay. So it's very good at clearing your jewelry, clearing things. So with this Halloween, it's like letting go, releasing. This is a good one for the full moon also or any full moon, new moon kind of uh, stone. It helps keep lower vibrations um, away from you. It can also recharge you. So like if you're doing a massive ghost hunting and you need some energy, selenite would be a good stone to have. I have, um, I have a selenite with an angel on it a lot of times that I'll wear when I'm ghost hunting to connect to that, that realm. It's great for business. It's great for abundance. It's great for fertility. And I, I know I have a video all on selenite, but for Halloween, if you're doing some kind of business or if you want to go on to a contest or if you're doing a Halloween outfit or you want to be noticed, selenite is a really good thing. It will make you kind of sparkle a little bit. It will sparkle your auric space. It also helps you connect to spirits if you're wanting to connect to the other realm, connecting to relatives, connecting to spirits, connecting to ghosts. This is a really good stone to have, okay? It also connects with your aura and it helps you with your vibration. Also, it would be a good stone if you're going to dress up as an angel, um, um, like a nun, if you're wanting to, uh, you know, a psychic, something like that. This stone would be good for that kind of costume, all right? Here's my next stone that I'm going to be talking about is black tourmaline. And a lot of people, I've said this numerous of times and I will say it again, for me, this is a very, very powerful stone. I have this in front of me every time I do a reading. It's in my, I have like this little uh, platform that kind of pulls out and I have it right in front of me every time I do a reading. But it, because it not only grounds you, with people that say it grounds you or it not only helps get helps you get rid of lower vibration, but it also opens up your third eye. Me even just holding this right now makes me vibrate really, really high. I have a video on this also, um, black tourmaline, but it helps you with ghost hunting. It helps you connect with that. And also I don't always want to talk about protection, but it will give you a shield around your auric space. It will give you a shield of protection and not allowing a lower vibration to connect to you. So wearing even a little piece of tourmaline, black tourmaline and the necklace, having it in your pocket, having it as a bracelet, whatever, um, would be really powerful. And if you're like, I don't have any jewelry, just even getting a little stone of it and putting it on your pocket and save it for a rainy day. <laughs> that song just came to my hand. But this is a really, really good stone for that. Um, it helps you get to into the abyss. At least it helps me. Okay. So if you're wanting to make your psychic ability stronger or intuitive, um, stronger or connecting to another dimensional space, I say go for black tourmaline because it, it does the root chakra. It connects to the heart chakra and then it definitely connects to your third eye and crown chakra to help you connect to that other realm. Okay, so the outfit to wear for this would be a monk, a spirit of the future, you know, kind of like a Christmas Carol, you know, that is like, well, I'm going to show you the future. You might not like it, <laughs> but it's a truth teller. Okay, so you could be um, monk, spirituality, um, again, angel, psychic, a witch, um, uh, a Morlock, a Horlock, or Warlock, a <laughs> Morlock. <laughs> A warlock, that kind of thing would be a really good uh, stone to wear for that kind of costume. Okay, so the next stone I have that I love, 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 love is a, my smoky quartz. Okay, so smoky quartz helps you to be comfortable. 
helps you get that grounding, but not to get overly grounded, okay? It helps you connect to people and the environment. Say you're doing a ghost hunt out on um, a cemetery or a graveyard. This would be the perfect stone for that. If you're saying you're like, I, I mean, kind of in fear to do a ghost hunt somewhere, this, like placing this in the doorway of, say you're doing a, a ghost hunting of a house or you're doing a hotel and you put it in your hotel room or wearing a bracelet, a necklace, an earring, putting it in your pocket again would be very powerful. But to me, this is a powerful stone to put on the ground where you ever are. So like say you're sitting somewhere and you're doing a ghost hunt and you're sitting somewhere and having this right next to you, um, you won't have to do all the work. You won't have to do all the work of separation of a lower vibration and a higher vibration. The smoky quartz would help you with that, okay? Protects you, it's, um, it protects you like if you're going to a ghost, uh, a Halloween party, okay? This would be a really good stone to have. This would be a really good stone to have in front of you on your heart chakra. It would be a good stone to have in your car when you come back from the party, if you know what I mean. And I don't want you to drink and drive, but, and, and this is not gonna, you know, like get you sober, but it's a very good protective stone for your car. If you're doing a travel, saying you're coming back from a big event, um, ghost hunting, a Halloween party, this would be a really good one to put in your car again, or being wearing it, okay? Um, will help you connect to the underground, not the negative underground, but the abyss where the lava, like the mother vibration is coming through. This stone would help you connect to that. Okay. That would help you connect to that, help you with your intuition. Um, and it can help you with your intention of which way to go. If you're, you're kind of lost of which way to go on something or what should I wear? Should I be this or should I be that? Should I, what, what is it? Put this on, ask the, the stone and it can help you. You can also program your stones. People don't realize that you can command and demand the stone and it doesn't have to be from now on. It's like you could bring the stone on your ghost hunt and say, okay, I demand command that you um, let go of the lower vibrations around you. I'm doing a ghost hunt. I, I just want the highest vibrations or the highest spirits or people that there's no harm that's going to be done. This is a perfect, perfect stone for this. Um, outfit to wear, a witch, okay? Uh, again, warlock. Um, anything that is um, with the underground, being a mermaid, believe it or not, being a mermaid because you can go into the abyss, okay? So if like if you were dressed as a dolphin or something like that, anything that is going to with the underground, uh, a fairy, a troll, that kind of stuff, a witch that does, you know, um, uh, potions and that kind of stuff. Yeah, this would be the perfect stone to have for that one. Okay. The next stone that they're going to have me talk about is carmelian. And I love this because of the orange. And people are going to go, oh, because of the orange, Debbie. Well, it kind of does remind you of a pumpkin, right? But um, it helps you with spirit, your spiritual abilities, okay? It helps you with the confidence of your spirit. And it helps you with the, the confidence of your spiritual gifts. So light workers, this is a really, really good stone for your business, for to bring joy into it. So like if you were doing a business of reading, healing, spiritual, ghost hunting, um, even just a, a hairdresser or whatever kind of business, this is a perfect stone for it, okay? Because it's connected to your second chakra where the joy is, but also where the business and allowing the prosperity to come to you. It will bring joy. So like if you're doing a ghost hunt, this Halloween, or you're even going to a haunted house, you want to have joy. You're like, oh God, I hope I have so much fun with my friends. Wearing carmelian and in any form will help you bring that joy. It will help bring spontaneity to you. So you're like, a friend is like eh, a little sticky, kind of like, oh, they, they're not um, allowing themselves to bring joy. Give them a gift of carmelian here or give them a carmelian bracelet or a necklace or earrings or, or whatever. Um, would help you bring that joy and help you bring that, that comfort. But it also brings that confidence, that courage to you, that courage. So you could dress up as the cowardly lion, you know what I mean? <laughs> like on the Wizard of Oz. Okay. You could also dress up as, as the, the monkeys on the, on the Wizard of Oz. All right. It could also help you dr um, dress up as a warrior, be like a Viking or a warrior or, 
uh, mid medieval a knight because this is courage this is strength this is confidence okay even dressing up as an egyptian because it connects to the egyptians because the egyptians many many years ago centuries ago gave it the name carmelian because it means honor and respect and acknowledgement and empowerment it also can bring you many many blessings okay so this is a really really good stone for that and i do believe i have a video on that too so look that look that one up okay so the next stone that i'm going to talk about which i have never talked about and i know i don't have a video on and most people don't know about it or hasn't seen it is gray amethyst not purple not blue not the other colors of amethyst but this is a gray amethyst i received this when i did um a travel and i was going through utah and the the guy um got it from some kind of uh some kind of area where there was a lot of this gray amethyst and this is not popular it's hard to find this gray amethyst okay so it helps you connect to mystery whoa you know like the halloween mystery it's like the spooking the the uh 2020 and 48 hours that kind of thing it helps you with that it helps you like connect to the information that you need like finding missing people or wanting to solve a cold case or whatever it helps you connect to that vibration that spiritual vibration of having that knowing helping you to look over things okay it helps you see the truth it helps you release anger and hate and frustration fear worry and doubt so this would be a really good one to have by you if you're like I, I'm, I'm in fear of doing that ghost hunt i don't know what's going to be there because of what hollywood has put in my mind <laughs> do you know what i mean this would be a good stone to have um it would also be a good stone to put in front of your door or inside or out it would be a good stone to bring along if you're doing a ghost hunt at a hotel or a, ho a house that you don't know or a space that you don't know this is another one that would be really really good i mean this with um smoky quartz wah, you'd be you know zinging in a zinging it probably would work really good even with um the black tourmaline okay because me holding these two together yeah i'm feeling it <laughs> i'm feeling it okay it helps you with your insight it helps you with your uh knowing okay so this stone if you're dressing up as a detective you're dress dressing up as an fbi you're dressing up as a psychic you're dressing up as a doctor this would be a fantastic stone to be wearing or having around you okay i love gray amethyst i don't know how many of you have heard of it but i love it look it up and it's really hard to find information on it because they right away get you to the purple amethyst and it doesn't always have the same qualities or um knowing as the purple okay and the next one and i think is my last one is tiger eye so it's kind of like it looks like my background here tiger eye okay grows again courage um confidence and strength brings you good luck want to win that costume you want to win that halloween costume put one in your pocket save it for a rainy day right um helps for seeing helps you to see in the dark in the dark there's a song like that but it helps you with seeing in the dark okay so it's kind of like helping you with your third eye but also seeing the triangle the third eye in your eyes of seeing what's going on it can get you help clear that negative thoughts that you have in your mind if you're like oh i'm constantly going back to this negative thought or what happened it can help you release the past it can help you release the past okay helps you bring courage again help you just stand in your dimension or help you stand in another dimensional space it helps you with the guardian angels spirit guides helps you connect with your spirit guides and your guardian angels okay so like archangel gabrielle or archangel michael so if you're needing a protection you're going to um 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 halloween party or you're ghost hunting you're going to the graveyard you're going to a place that you you're traveling um especially in the dark tiger eye notice tiger eye will help you with the scene and seeing what's coming up towards you also so it could be a protection it can help you kind of look above what's going on to see to protect you okay and you know me i don't always want to say protection but um it's it's really a powerful third eye and like root chakra stone and it will protect you but also help you in the spiritual realm okay 
The costumes to wear for that, of course, is a tiger. Construction worker. I know that sounds really weird. Or an archangel or a protector, some kind of protector, a knight, uh, a police officer, a fireman, um, a doctor again. Tiger eye would be really, really good that. And, and, and then a detective also. Okay. So those are my um, stones for for Halloween, I'm gonna do two cards for you. And um, the first one I'm gonna do is the universe has your back and we'll see what the, the spiritual realm it wants to, you to know, okay? I'm on vacation, I'm in Minnesota um, and I'm gonna be doing some ghost hunting, okay? So check out my TikTok, Psychic Debbie One, Psychic Debbie Griggs One. Um, I, I'll probably have some live on there. Alrighty, righty. If you don't catch it, that's okay. I will put it in film and we'll put it up on YouTube so you can see where we're going. We had a contest to see where people want us to go ghost hunting and St. James won. So we are definitely doing a St. James ghost hunting. Okay. All right. Okay. Ooh, let's see what spirit has to say. I honor how I want to feel. And the universe works fast when I'm having fun. So I want you to have fun this Halloween season. Even if you're staying home, have fun. Carve a pumpkin. Watch a scary show. Have fun, okay? So the universe works fast when I'm having fun. Have fun this Halloween season. I really, really want you to do that. Um, my birthday comes up November 2nd. I'm on Day of the Dead. So I definitely are going to have fun, <laughs> okay? And I want you to too. So until next time... Thank you and blessings and smiles. Bye-bye.